How's everybody doing tonight? So it says huge applause on my slide. How's everybody doing tonight? Huh? So look, I'm honored to be here. I'm actually flew in from Boston. Um, part of my uh, accent, part of the kind of have a kind of thing. I'll do what I can to uh, stay away from that. So look, I number my slides one through 20. That way, if I start to suck, you guys can guesstimate how much longer I'm going to be. Go grab a drink, do what you got to do. So look, my name is Jason Silvestri, as you know. I'm a web brand developer. I use graphics design and software development to cultivate brand messages for my clients that separate them from their competition, OK? Uh, so I, I come from Avon, Massachusetts. I grew up there 17 years. Um, and I, you know, I flew out here because I, I feel there's, there's a story for me to tell you guys. Um, I've done a lot of things in the past you know, many years. 14 years of my life has been really hustling my face off to do what I got to do to try and succeed. And unfortunately for me, that wasn't the case. It was only up until the past 14 months that I actually made something happen, okay? So why I'm here, um, obviously, you know, there's, there's so many things you can do in life. And, and you guys going to school here, I think it's most important for you to stay in school. I can tell you right now. Uh, it's going to be your benefit. It's going to be your lifeline in life. I guarantee it. How many internet rock stars are in the room tonight? Internet rock stars to me are people who use the internet to kind of build their brand and do their thing. Anyone? Woo! Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Two. Two people. That's good. <laughs> so how many of those people have a Twitter account? Anyone? Who has a Twitter account? Facebook? Woo! Nice. Anyone have a blog? Yeah, do you guys, anyone like doing video? I like video. Video's fun. Yeah? How many people have the passion here to do those things and, and kind of drive that personal brand and do what you can to kind of succeed in that? Anyone? No one? Yeah, we go. We got two. We got two. How many people have been taught they have to use the Twitters and the Facebooks and the Vimeos and all these things, and they have that passion? They're going to do it. They're going to be drive to the top. Anyone? There's one person. Two? Well, we can throw that out the window because that's not really the case, okay? That kind of, that kind of preaching comes from hope peddlers that really don't know what it's like to survive. They've had the money, the backing, and all those kinds of things to make sure it works. Okay? For people like us, it's about surviving. Now look, I'm not going to lie, passion is a fantastic driver. It's what drove me to every moment of things I do to this day. But it's about being an expert at what you do that's going to make you win in the end. I guarantee it. It's being that expert. It's educating yourself. The game's changed. It's 2000, you know, 2011, 2007, 2008 were great years to kind of do your thing and everyone's saying thank you. But in all reality, people are starving. All right? The economy's all done. The person next to you will eat your lunch in a second, in a second, if their kids are starving. So look, here's all my accomplishments for the past 14 years. Pretty colorful. Never, I barely made it out of high school, never went to college. Failed at every single business I ever did up until now. In the past 14 months, I changed the game for me. Now, a lot of people ask me, what could have possibly changed in the past 14 months? And it's using my emotions, okay? I harnessed my emotions. I went from realizing I could do certain things uh, to understanding that there are certain emotions and drives. Obviously, there's passion, fear, disgust, and greed. Pride's not up there. I lost $65,000 in a trademark battle because of pride. Ultimately, it's going to be harnessing these things. Now, don't get me wrong. Passion is awesome. And, and everyone here knows all about passion, right? It's, it's, good, it's still going to be that driver that keeps you up every night doing what you got to do. It really is going to be. But you have to look into other things too, other emotions, things like fear. Okay, now fear for me, you know, I had a huge fear of going up on whiteboards. My grammar isn't so well. So I would be terrified of going up on whiteboards and writing. So one time, I was up on a whiteboard, and I had to spell the word sabotage, right? So I'm thinking, like, great, I have to ask someone now. So I turn around and ask everyone, how do you spell sabotage? No one could do it. No one. So there's certain fears that you might have that you don't have to stop. Just keep going and build off that. You can do it. Trust me. I'm doing it. Disgust. You know, there's a, there's a story I didn't really want to tell, and, and it's, a, it's a big jump and a big reason for why I'm here and how I made that jump within 14 months. <clears throat> my daughter lost her tooth, and we were so broke, I could not give her a single dollar. <clears throat> but anyway, 
I spent the next two days telling my fiance, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm going to work and make things happen. Two days later, I get a job interview. Two more days, I get the job. Two more days after that, I make 100K a year. Okay? Whatever you do, build that brand. Do what you got to do. But be aware of hubris. Don't think you're some cocky, funny guy who can make things happen because you can get fired in a second. There's, there's more talented people out there that can make it happen. So just be good. Thank you.